In this demo, we'll deploy an Azure VMware Solution private cloud, log into the vSphere client to validate our SDDC components were deployed successfully, and configure Express Route Global Reach to establish connectivity between our on-premises data center and our AVS private cloud. At this point, we've already confirmed the naming and resource groups to be deployed, the IP address space we're going to use, we've registered the Microsoft.AVS resource provider, and we've requested host quota. See the links in the description below if you want to review those steps. We start here logged into the Azure portal. We're going to create a new resource group for our Azure VMware solution components. So click Create Resource Group, type in Resource Group, and Create. It selected our subscription for us, so we'll just provide a name. We use AVS RG, and we can pick a region. All of our resources will be deployed in West US, so we'll select that from the list. Review and Create, and Create. When that completes, we can click Go to Resource Group, and now we can create that AVS object. So click Create, type in Azure VMware Solution, and click Create. The wizard will remind us that to deploy Azure VMware Solution, we need to have an enterprise agreement or be a CSP customer, and we need to have a slash 22 SATR block set aside for AVS. And we're good there, so we'll click over to Next for Basics. It has selected our subscription and our resource group, so we can provide a name for the private cloud. We'll do AVS SDDC. Select a location, again, that will be West US. Size of host, this is the node type. We're gonna do the AV36 node. Number of hosts, we'll leave it at the default of three. And now we can provide the address block that we've worked with our networking team to obtain. And that is 192.168.92.0 slash 22. Click review and create. And create. This will start the process of deploying everything on the back end. This will take three to five hours uh, in real life. We've sped that up for the purpose of the demo. But when that does complete, we can click through to the resource and confirm status succeeded. That means it was deployed successfully. And now when the private cloud object is deployed, it only has connectivity to the, the backend Azure services that do the provisioning and the monitoring. Uh, we need to connect it to an Azure VNet so that it can access the rest of Azure. So we'll go to the Manage Connectivity panel. And we're going to use this Azure VNet Connect feature to create a new virtual network, deploy a new virtual network gateway, and create the connection between that virtual network gateway and the private express route circuit that supports AVS. So we'll choose Create New. We'll keep the default name. But we are going to customize the address space. We're going to use 192.168.96.0 slash 24. We need to create some subnets. The first one will be called Gateway Subnet. It has to be formatted this way for the virtual network gateway deployment to work right. And the address range we'll use for that is 182.168.96.0 slash 27. Create another one here for our jump box. And that'll be 192.168.96.32 slash 27. We need one more for the Azure Bastion service. And as with Gateway Subnet, this has to be formatted in exactly this way. 192.168.96.64 slash 26. 26 is the smallest network we can use for Azure Bastion. Okay, those look good, so hit OK. And save. And that will start deploying all those network connection objects. And this will take about half an hour in the real world, but again, we've sped it up for the demo. Okay, we're going to click back to the resource group. We have our private cloud, we have our VNet. Now we're going to deploy Azure Bastion and the jump box. So we're going to create, type in Bastion, and click Create Bastion here. We'll give this a name, AVS Bastion. Select a region, again, this will be West US. Uh, tier type, we can do basic, we, do, we don't need any redundancy here. And under Virtual Networks, we can select our AVS SDC VNet that we just created, and it finds that Azure Bastion subnet. Public IP address, we'll create a new one. Default name is fine. Review and create. And create. Okay, when that completes, again, we'll go back to the resource group. And now deploy our Windows VM. Create. for a Windows 11 image. Create. That version's fine. We'll give it a name. We'll call it AVS Jumpbox. 
region will be West US. Size is fine. We'll scroll down a little bit to the, to the administrator account. We'll create an account AVS admin, set a password, type it again. And for public inbound ports, we're going to use Bastion, so we will not allow RDP in. Confirm we have rights. Click through to disks. Disks are fine. Click through to networking. And we're going to make sure that we don't have a public IP assigned. Because again, we don't need one. We're going to use Bastion to connect. Click review and create. And create. Okay, when that completes, we can click go to resource and connect using Bastion. We need to provide that username and password that we created just a moment ago. So it's AVS admin and the password and connect. First time you do this, you might get a pop up warning. So just accept, if you do, just accept it and relaunch. And the first time you connect, you'll be asked if you want to share the clipboard. We do. So I'll hit allow. Okay, when we load up, I'm going to launch Edge. Then we're going to go back to the Azure portal and home and to our SDC object and to this VMware credentials panel. And here's where we can get the uh, URL for the web client, username and password. So we'll copy the URL first. Go over here, paste that in, accept these warnings, launch the client, copy the username, go back and copy the password. And there we go. Here's our vCenter environment. There's our vCenter, our data center, our cluster, and our ESXOS. So we can access this environment through the jump box, but we probably don't want to launch a bastion connection to that jump box every time we want to make a change. We want to make sure that we can connect to this environment from our on-premises data center. So to do that, we're going to configure Express Route Global Reach. So I'm going to close this tab. Over here from the SDC object, I'm going to go to the connectivity panel, the Express Route Global Reach tab. I'm going to create a new on-prem cloud connection. This is going to ask for an Express Route circuit ID and an authorization key. We have an existing Express Route circuit, and I've worked with our networking team to get that circuit ID and auth key. So I'm going to paste those in here. Click Create. And wait for the state to change to connected. There we go. So now we have that connection between the on-prem Express Route and the private Express Route supporting AVS. So now I can go back to the VMware Credentials panel, copy that URL again. Open a new tab, paste in that URL, accept the warnings, launch the client, copy the username, copy the password, and log in. And there's my environment, just like we saw it a moment ago. So there we go. We've deployed an Azure VMware Solution private cloud, logged in the vSphere client to validate everything was deployed, figured Express our global reach, and then logged in to confirm that we can connect to this from our on-prem environment.